Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, I thought we could take a look at one of my favorite groups on Reddit, St. Megan Markle. You guys, they never let me down over there. They always make me laugh and um, they had a blackout for a couple days so I was going into withdrawal, but it, they're back up and I'm so excited about that and I can't wait to dive into some funny memes and discussion points for you all. So thanks so much for being here. I'm going to start this episode out with a question. Have any of you heard about this? So it's being reported on St. Meghan Markle. Um, it says, this is all over Twitter, that $540,000 of Invictus money was spent on clothing for Megan, and they're having to pay it back. If you want to see more, search Invictus on Twitter. It's everywhere. Well, I looked into it and all I could see, I guess news is breaking right now about Invictus and it's being reported that allegedly Netflix was going to film something about Invictus and has backed out of it. I'm not really sure on that, but it's kind of clouding up the other story. So my question is to all of you, have you heard this? Because I want to know all the details, if so. 540000 of Invictus money spent on clothing. I just want to know, is there even a little bit of truth to this? I just want to know details. Let me know. Comments under this one were pretty funny. Somebody wrote, she'll be cheap. She hardly eats anything and makes her own clothes. So in case you're like, what is that? That is a quote from Spare. That is something that Harold of Harold and Fraud claimed in his stupid book that she's cheap and can make her own clothes. Can you imagine? And then people were posting this under it, which was hilarious because what they're pointing out is, well, the Grinch made his own Santa suit. <laughs> and then they started pointing out what uh, Megan and the Grinch have in common. <laughs> they said that uh, the claw bears a resemblance to the green guy. But then this person writes, she's so drunk on power, she's lost the script. Who in their right mind thinks Invictus is about a fashion show and showing off your entitlement? Even a moron would understand how bad that would be for optics. Clueless. May I remind you of one of my all-time favorite memes here? It's always a good reason. There's always a good reason to bring out this meme, right? But um, again, wore thousands and thousands of dollars worth of, I guess, designer clothing. I can't say that with a straight face. And jewels to an underprivileged school to read her own book to children. So just, um, again, self-awareness is just non-existent with this one. Oh, but brag that she wore ripped jeans and went barefoot to meet her future brother and sister-in-law. CounterLogic77 shared this post. Uh, they were celebrating the end of Blackout and said, let's share some of our favorite memes. I'm going to share some of them. The only thing I'll say is, unfortunately, we do not have the original artist's name. I don't know if this person created them all. I'm guessing not. They're just sharing their favorites. So I would love to give shout, shout outs, but I don't have the name. So we're just going to take a look. <laughs> the first one is British tits and it says colossal tit. Winerous never end us. <laughs> this is so good. Look at that. Oh, people are so talented with like Photoshop and stuff. That's fantastic. So this is something we've all said that stupid Time Magazine photo where he looks like her stylist. So again, somebody made a meme out of it and says, this looks like Harry is her hairdresser. And he's looking into the mirror explaining <laughs> what he did with her layers. And then I always say, if you don't look good, we don't look good. Remember, that's the uh, Vidal Sassoon tagline. It was in the 80s anyway. I'm kind of dating myself. But anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> All right, and then we have our queen, love her so much. 1992 has turned out to be an, I'll never be able to say that right, you get the idea, Anus Horribilis, but then they call him the Anus Horribilis. <laughs> so good. This one remains one of my favorites. Somebody turned his stupid book into a South Park meme, and it's the prince. Wah. So then they shared a tweet from Laird of the Manor, and it's, when you criticize and mock your own brother about his hair loss and then desperately hang on to your own rapidly declining follicles while trying to offset the cranial decline by growing a beard is the epitome of hypocrisy. The gingerbread man has become a pub entree slider. Oh boy. 
And and the thing is, like, I mean, I say this all the time. I wouldn't normally go after stuff like this. So what? People lose hair, but I, he deserves it. He absolutely went after William and called him bald. And then, hello, no self-awareness, right? Like, just totally doesn't matter that it's happening to him. That's just like a small example of the hypocrisy with with this one. I've also shared this one before. I love it. It's uh, the top is the fact of what happened. And then the bottom, of course, is Harry's feelings. Or as you guys like to call him, Harry. Harry's feelings. <laughs> so, yeah, it's his truth, right? He believes that the bottom is the truth. So it must be. We're just supposed to buy it without questioning. All right. Then we got Chelsea's ex and Chelsea's ex's first wife. And it says, the paparazzi haven't noticed us. Drive around the block again, and this time blast the horn. <laughs> it's so good. And it's called Into the Spotlight. Oh, so well done. I love the way they drew this. I, I, that's perfect. And then they shared the meme that I showed at the beginning of the video. I don't always manipulate lying gaslight, but when I do, it's your fault. All right. And then this was posted by Owl Sky, and it says, Who do you think is worse as of today? Doing some polls for a later post. Can you please explain why in the comments? Thank you. And it's, of course, Megan or Harry. You guys, this was like Sophie's choice. This was hard for me because I do, I change my mind all the time on who's worse. Today, I picked Megan. And the reason is, is that race thing, that Oprah. I just did a video on the Oprah interview, so it's still fresh in my mind where she made all those claims and called the royal family racist and, and, I mean, Harry as well, but I'm saying like, I just, I'll never forgive that. And, and the way she thereby tortured the queen, you know, at the end of her, her life. And so no, mm -mm, no, I'll never forget that. So I picked Megan, but it actually looks like Harry's winning this one. Congratulations, you two. And then I found an argument as to why Harry's the worst. And they say Harry's worse because he should have known better and should have shut Megan down very early on, but he didn't, thus letting her run rampant over the royal family and then joining her, creating an ever more toxic duo and causing incredible hurt to his family. Yeah, point well made. All right, I want to switch my answer to Harry then. <laughs> All right. And then we have this post that says, now I remember. You guys, take a look at this. We got Harry making this face and then they point this out. And this is all I'll see now. Although I will say at least the dog is super cute and I want to play and pet him. Like I want to play with him. <laughs> I could learn something from the dog. Harry's got nothing. So <laughs> yeah, I picked the dog. And then this person asks, what does Megan actually look like? This has been bugging me for a while. There are so many photos, but each of them has been heavily edited and each one looks very different. What does a real Megan look like? Will the real Megan please stand up? And then this person answers, nobody knows, mate. At this point, Megan doesn't know either. So this person replies that it's part of her narcissist narcissistic tendencies that her appearance will always change and that they venture to guess that she looks most like this picture. You guys, I cannot with this picture. Any chance I have to trot this one out, I will. I get so many funny comments about this one. A lot of you really... <laughs> Really like this one. Yeah, maybe this is closer to the truth. I'm not sure at this point, but can I just say this picture lives for him free in my head along with the angry picture through the car window. I just, I think about them all the time. And the reason this one lives rent free in my head is because she's supposed to be an actress, right? That's, that's supposed to be her thing. Is she meant to be crying here? Because it's not, it's not working. <laughs> It's more smirky smiley. It's not crying. Are we supposed to feel sorry for her? This is one of the times she was on the floor crying, right? It's just the worst. <laughs> it's the, what's the word? It's like the worst acted photo I've ever seen from an actress. Oh, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Uh, I just appreciate each and every one of you being here. I really do. I hope you guys have the best day and I can't wait to bring you more videos like this soon. Take care. Bye-bye.